Welcome to Reactions by Jeff. Thank you for stopping by. Today we'll be looking at Laura Fabian performing Le BD at Igor Kutoy's 60th birthday celebration. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe, like, and comment. I would greatly appreciate it. Thank you again, and let's begin. Смотри мне в глаза и прости мне, я сожалею, я люблю тебя, я была не права. I really love the purity of her tone uh, when she when she sings. She just really ha has a very clear sound to her voice that that comes straight through and and she opens everything up so that everything just is wide and open and unobstructed and and it's just a really beautiful tone. Yes. I really like that turn in the chorus there. Um, it really does a great way. It, it's a really great way to, to shift the the chorus to the end so that we, it, it's just a really great, great um, way to end a chorus. And let's go back and listen to that again. It, I, and again, we all know this. But, um, if you've listened to Dimash's Love of Tired Swans, this is the, the same song. And, and that hook, that little turn there at the end of the chorus is just amazing. So let's let's listen to that again. That was a lovely, a lovely tone right there. I like, I like when singers can do a really light and clear tone up above. Um, it reminds me of uh, one of the the Cosettes in early Broadway. Um, yeah, Broadway, I believe, um, had a really clear sound to her tone, and I really appreciate that. Yes,
I also love how she opens her mouth up really big. That that was amazing. I love that. Um, I loved it in in the Dimash's version, and I also love her version too. It's pitch perfect. It's straight. It's open. It's 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 amazing. Do you trust me? So that was Laura Fabian singing Lebede. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, like I said, during out the performance, I really do like how she opens up her tone. She has a really great stage presence. Um, she, she really does know how to own the stage and um, she does know how to present uh, the emotion of a song. She knows how to connect with the audience. Um, one thing I did notice in this particular song, which is sort of foreign for a lot of people, is that um, there's a little screen at the bottom. And um, what I've noticed over time is that artists have begun to have the little lyric sheet at the bottom to help them know what's going on. Um, you know, it it's difficult when you have 200 songs in your repertoire and, and people want to hear almost everything or you want to be able to show a very, um, a very version of your repertoire. And so, um, you know, it's, it's really nice to have that as a performer. Um, but for some people it might be distracting. I did notice she was looking at it a lot. And so, you know, that, that might've changed the, the performance, you know, in a, in a, in a way. And so, you know, maybe, maybe that's me overreacting. Maybe that wasn't what that was, but, um, having been in karaoke bars a lot and having done karaoke, I do notice when people are looking at lyrics and it, and again, it's not a criticism. I actually, you know, I, I'm glad that people do that because it, it allows them to have access to more of their, their repertoire at any given time. I know Elton John does it. Um, and a lot of other, um, performers do it because again, you know, if they have 200 songs in the repertoire 
you know, if you're just going to do the same 20 songs and there's 200, that's 10% of your repertoire and, and it gets boring for everybody. And so to have some, some variation on a theme, depending upon where you're going is really nice. And sometimes you just can't memorize everything and you just can't remember all the words to all the songs that you ever wrote. It's, it's a, it's too big of an ask. Um, and so, you know, I don't know the backstory of this particular performance, but regardless, you know, the, the, the key thing is, is that can she perform the song no matter what? I mean, should, it didn't interfere with her technique. It didn't interfere with her overall attempt to, to connect with the audience. And so again, uh, that's, that's my, my interpretation. If you want to leave your comments in the comments about this particular, um, use of a of, of lyrics in in a show i know even in the singer for dimash they actually had those for people um so anyway um i'm gonna leave it at that um you know laura is just a very confident and very well polished performer and so i really i really enjoyed this i mean it's it's nice to see her version of something that i've seen dimash do and i actually have a reaction to dimash doing this particular song in my playlist so again if you like this video click like um, if you like the content of this channel, please click subscribe. And if you want to see the next time I drop um, a new video, please click the notification bell. Um, I do want to wish you well today and enjoy your day, evening, night, morning, wherever you are in time. And be safe.